talking about the ball sticking a little bit yesterday. The ball needs to be on time and on target for both teams here. Javon Quinterly, the birthday boy, has the first two points of the ball game. Here comes Alabama. Quinterly finds the trailer. A lot of contact, no whistle. Tariaco denied by Joseph, and here come the Gales. And if Iona can, can keep them from scoring at the rim, then that'll make it more challenging for Alabama to score three. Woo! Dylan Van Eyck just into the game, drops the dime to Nelly Jr. Joseph. Well, for big, has tremendous hands. You see the screen, a naked ball screen. What an impeccable touch and moving of the basketball. Van Eyck does a nice job of not allowing that basketball. Had a marvelous trip to Nashville. Made nearly half his three-point shots for the week. Good strength to finish that layup by the freshman Charles Bediaco. But defensively is where Alabama was so underrated last year. Davison again working on the big man. He turned it over. Quickly the other way, Slazinski, the Louisville transfer. Ryan Myers, left-handed southpaw with the basketball into the game for the Gales. Back cut. Nice pull-up. Love the control by Walter Clayton. And Miles reloads with 10 on the shot clock. Finds the diving Gurley. Nicely done in the paint. Going one on two. Tough shot, no. Long pass, Van Eyck. Euros to the bucket, lays it in. And we're tied at 15. In this ESPN Events Invitational. Shackelford, the thousand point man, gets two more. Yeah, he's slippery. But you have to go inside the big guys. I watch so many teams now, and the big guys are like begging for touches. And we got Javon Quinley going in, shooting layups all day. And when you talk about some of the best coaches to ever do it, Rick Pitino's name comes to the top of your mind. And Nelly was close to signing with Wichita State before Coach Pitino got involved. Slazinski with the three. You, you talk about uh, timeouts, right? You saw the down screen and then the pop. There was miscommunication. This is the ESPN Events Invitational. With Damian Fishback, I'm Doug Sherman. Here comes Alabama. Ellis, Woo! go get it. Not a lot of people are talking about him. Ran right. into a buzzsaw against Villanova, but Kennedy Chandler, I think. Vescovy, I'm yep. trying to make sure I say his name <laughs> right, uh, is, is continuing Whoa. Bailey. Myers Good dumps pass. it off. And the lap, easy two for Junior Joseph. Another strong drive and a chance for three this time. Javon Quinterly's got it working. He's the first into double figure. Nelly Jr. Joseph finds Ooh. Slazinski, who was denied by Darius Miles. Quinn Slazinski is such an emotional player. Quinterly denied. Listed Reggie Theus. <laughs> they got in shape and they went out and thoroughly got their rear ends kicked and couldn't walk off the floor afterward. But he's well, still getting out there. Well, he is. Shot clock down to eight. Don't know if Davidson realizes it. He does now. And there he goes, hanging in the air, banking it home. Now, what does that tell you, though? I think that might be New Year's Eve. They're mm -hmm. going to put his name up in the rafters, the fourth coach ever to hang his name from Rupp Arena. Davison. Shackelford for three. He's got it. That foul, by the way, was on Charles Bediaco and it's his third. Jolly finds the space in the defense and buries the mid-range jumper. Six to shoot. Van Eyck glances up at the shot clock, puts it on the deck, fades away, and connects. Good defense again by Iona with a chance to retake the lead. Clayton. For the tie, got it. A little dirt in Novinsky and then Walter Clayton Jr. absorbing the contact at 6-2, going up over the six. Joiner goes right at the big and scores. I love that. You have to do a better job of finishing your defensive possession with the defensive glass. Lucky bounce comes to Clayton. And he takes advantage with a layup. Mismatch. 
Junior Joseph reties the ball game at 57. Gurley, nice bounce pass. Pretty. On the cut, Darius Miles lays it in. Tied again at 59. That's one of those that Coach Nate Oates had in his back pocket out of the timeout. Jolly for three. Whew. Iona trailed by as many as nine earlier here in the second half. Jolly off the pump fake, lays it in. Pretty basketball. But if you're Alabama here, you also don't want to get behind too far now with only three minutes left in the basketball game. Gurley spotting up, answers with a huge three for the Crimson Tide. Davison able to track it down. He spins. Woo. Banks it in for two more. Young That's fella. Pretty. Earl the Pearl spin. Nelly Jr. Joseph. Joiner, little step back three. Woo. It's good. Let's take a look here. You talked about Joiner having those injuries. I've faced injuries before. On both of these sides, if you're Alabama, you don't need to panic here. Shackelford. Big answer once again for the left-hander from California. Down, you forget all about it. And then on the other end, Jaden Showtime. Let me show you something, Shackelford, with a big three to bring the tie within a bucket. With 17 seconds to go in the second half, Quinterly has a step. Goes right to the basket, and it's blocked from behind by Jean-Louis. Quinterly lost it. Shackelford with it. And the Iona Gales have upset the 10th ranked Alabama Crimson Tide. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.